Scientists just found a shocking gap in the universe that defies all logic. You would be mistaken if you believed that the universe already contained enough terrifying locations. Black holes themselves, hostile gas giants with winds over 500 miles an hour, and scorching hot planets have all been found. But these celestial objects also have characteristics. Think of a location that is nothing more than a gap in space that spans millions of light years. Researchers have discovered a gap that defies logic, but do we know anything about it or will these questions remain unanswered? Let's learn some fascinating information about these gaps. Knowing that the gap exists because nothing does simple logic, aside from a few very distant stars, there is nothing in such gaps. As the universe expands and galaxies move continuously, as is well known, the gaps are filled by gravitational forces attracting the bodies and systems. 330 million light years sounds like a lot. Our limited minds can't fully comprehend this distance due to its value. However, scientists have been able to locate something at this distance. The universe has a gaping hole that extends beyond the limits of logic, some 330 million light years into space. Given that there are many holes in space, as you may already be aware, why is this one so intriguing to researchers and enthusiasts? The Boots region was dubbed. Edwin Hubble offered the first observational proof of the universe's finite age in 1929. He found that a galaxy appears to be moving away from us faster the further away it is from us using the largest telescope available at the time. The universe is therefore evenly expanding in all directions. Space-time curvature, the Higgs field, and vacuum energy will always exist in perfectly empty space. Gas, dust, wind, light, electric and magnetic fields, cosmic rays, neutrinos, dark matter, and dark energy are also present in more typical vacuums, such as those in space. Robert Kirshner was calculating the redshifts of numerous galaxies in 1981 at the University of Michigan, along with other astronomers. If you didn't already know, redshifts are shifts in the wavelength of light that cause it to appear to be moving toward the red portion of the spectrum. Essentially, it gauges how quickly something edges away from the planet. Therefore, a galaxy moves faster the further away it is because of how our universe is expanding i.e., distance can be calculated from redshift. Kirshner and his team used this approach to produce a three-dimensional universe map. Something strange started appearing at 700 million light-years as the map was being rendered. A spherical blank space, 330 million light-years wide, was visible from Earth. To put that into perspective, consider how many times the Milky Way could fit within this area. Initially, there were hardly any galaxies in this area. The area was originally called the Great Nothing, but later it was decided to call it the Boots Void because it appears to be in the constellation of Bodus, which is named after the Greek word for herdsman. 41 years later, surveys have produced more accurate maps of the cosmos. We now understand that the way galaxies are arranged is a huge web. In our universe, most galaxies are found in long structures called filaments that wind throughout space. When these come together, they form clusters, areas with many galaxies concentrated in them. However, there are vast empty voids with hardly any galaxies between these threads. Surprisingly, the voids account for about 80% of the observable universe, most of which measure between 30 and 300 million light years across. Boots, however, is one of the biggest and has earned the moniker Super Void. That sounds like an excellent band name. Boots are believed to be the result of smaller voids coming together. If you understand what I mean, it's strange to hear that there is more nothing than something. But what causes this to happen? The origin of the universe is thought to be the root of these voids. At the beginning of the universe, it was once believed that the universe's matter was all tightly packed together in a uniform soup, but as we're now discovering, small differences in the density of the matter soon emerged. Some areas were slightly dense, which meant that their gravitational pull was stronger, drawing matter away from the less dense areas. These gravitational changes made them even denser, further increasing their gravitational pull, attracting more matter, and so on. 
These fluctuations began at the quantum level and eventually covered hundreds of millions of light years as the universe rapidly expanded. On the other hand, smaller clusters of matter start to form galaxies. Astronomers can see what the universe looked like in its earliest moments by studying these massive structures. We can now produce more detailed versions of Kirshner's maps thanks to improvements in telescope and imaging technology, such as the Dark Energy Survey, which has mapped out a quarter of the southern sky and looked at about 300 million galaxies. We're fortunate to have the supercomputers today that can produce accurate simulations of the evolution of the universe from the first instance after the Big Bang to the current cosmos that we observe. Astronomers can start understanding how our universe evolved by contrasting these maps with the simulations. One of the largest voids we have so far found is the Boots Void, which is approximately 250 to 330 million light years across. Only 60 galaxies in the Boots Void have been found, and they are all arranged in a tube-like pattern that runs through it. Then, let's put the Boots Void in context. It would only fill about 1% of the beauty's void if you considered the distance between us and our nearest galaxy. Andromeda Galaxy, which is about 2.5 million light years away, if we assume that there are roughly one galaxy every 10 million light years, four times farther away than Andromeda, the Boots Void should contain about 2,000 galaxies. Astronomer Greg Aldering described the size of the Boots Void by saying that if the Milky Way had been in the center, we would not have known there were other galaxies, which is a little too unsettling. There is currently no known explanation for how the enormous gap between the constellations Perseus and Tarsus came to be. In the universe, many empty bubbles resemble the great nothing or the void of boot. There will always be a variety of explanations for all space mysteries, and these gaps certainly have their fair share. One of the craziest being the Boots Void. Although it is the least popular theory, the idea that a super civilization from another planet might have developed energy by harvesting Dyson spheres around many stars and blocking out their light is still tenable. But in science, there are frequently more questions than there are solutions. We have two theories, says study leader Shmuel Billy, a postdoctoral researcher at the Institute for Theory and Computation or ITC, at the Center of Astrophysics. The perseus taurus supershell was created all at once by a single supernova explosion at the bubble center, or it was gradually built up over millions of years by a string of supernova explosions. If his information is accurate, he claims that the fact that this area is empty proves that a star's supernova creates a series of events that may ultimately result in the birth of new stars. The enormous bubble was discovered as researchers examined 3D maps of molecular clouds and space produced using information from the Gaia Space Telescope operated by the European Space Agency. The 3D maps, according to postdoctoral researcher Catherine Zucker, are offering astronomers a completely new viewpoint on the universe's structure. We've been able to see these clouds for years but we were unaware of their true size, depth, or thickness, she said. We didn't know how far the clouds were either. Now that we are 100% certain of their location, we can see this space between them. Astronomers have previously used simulations to test these theoretical hypotheses. She continued adding that there are several theories for how these molecular gas clouds go on to give birth to new star systems. But now we can compare theory to observation and assess which theories are most effective using actual non-simulated 3D views. Hopefully, we can find some reliable solutions. The existence of the Boots Void and the Lambda CDM model of cosmological evolution do not appear to conflict in any significant way. According to one theory, the Boots Void formation is similar to how soap bubbles combine to form larger bubbles. This formation would explain why so few galaxies in the small region roughly resemble a tube and run through the center of the void. What do you think is in Boots Void? And what else can be learned from contemporary telescopes and technologies? If you've reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. 
see you in another video. Until then, take care. Do tell us your views in the comment section.